Okay, now we're going to look at uh, trading profit and loss accounts. When I was introducing the procedures account, you know, account follows a procedure pattern from source document to journal to ledger to trial balance. Now, from the trial balance, those list of balances, you will now prepare what is called trading profit and loss account. And I told you, trading profit and loss account, what is the essence of trading profit and loss account? The essence of trading profit and loss account is to know the performance of the business. And the performance as measured in what is called bottom line. You might have heard something like that, bottom line, bottom line. What they, are, what they mean by bottom line is either this gross profit or gross loss, or usually net profit or net loss. So please take notes. Bottom line, bottom line is usually net profit, but on the trading side, it is gross profit or gross loss. Now, there are some items you see on the trading account, and there are some items you see profit and loss account. So the two of them joined together is known as trading profit and loss account, or statement of what profit or loss account, and other comprehensive income according to the latest accounting standard. Now, the first one is opening stock. What do they mean by opening stock? For every beginning of, let's say, a month or an accounting period, businesses usually have stock they have in their warehouse or where they put it. Now, those stock, they, they are those stock that was not sold in the previous accounting or accounting period or month, anyone depending. So they were brought forward to the new accounting period. So that's why they call them opening stock. Now, the business during the accounting year, present, current accounting year, will also purchase some other stock and add to this opening stock. So when they purchase another stock and add to it, so the stock will increase. And when the stock increases, when you add the two of them, those two are known as goods available for sales. Now, carriage inwards. Carriage inwards is a direct expenses. Why did I say direct expenses? Is attached to what these purchases. If you don't make purchases, you can never make what carriage inward expenses. So that's why it is a direct expenses because it's directly related to what the stock of the business. Then you may purchase some items. So these two are usually added. You may purchase some items, and those items maybe they have defects. You never noticed it when you're buying it, but when you go to the this thing to the business premises, you now notice it. So you return them back to the supplier. That return is known as return outwards, even from the name, return outwards to who? To the supplier. So you add this to less this, then you get goods available for sales. Now, there are some direct wages. There are some direct expenses such as wages. What do I mean? People producing the goods, Directly, maybe factory workers, the money you pay them, maybe you pay them per every, maybe you tell them if you can produce like 100 units of the product, we'll pay you like 15, 15 naira for every unit, all those kind of payment. Wages, it is directly related to the stock, so that is why it is a direct expense. You need to add it here. After adding it, whatever you get, you minus it from the closing stock because. During the accounting period, you will sell some goods. Remember, when you sell some goods, some will still be remaining. So, when you want to get the actual goods you sold, this, when, you, when you add this, this, and minus this, and also add this, you will minus the total closing stock. And what will they have? Next. What will you have? You have cost of goods and uh, cost of goods sold. So this plus this plus this minus this plus this, then less this will give you cost of goods sold. Then on the credit side, sales minus this return in what is sales? You can on the other side of the what account when we show it to you as you understand better, you minus return in ways. That means if you sell to outsider. And those people make some returns back to the business. 
it is called return anyway. But if you buy from supplier and you return to them, it's known as return outward. So return inward is only deducted from sales. Return outward is only deducted from what? Purchases. Then, whatever figure you have, you compare to the one you got here. You will not determine whether you have gross profit or loss. Then you go to the uh, trading profit and loss column. You have the gross profit. You will what? Add all the whole expenses. Then this gross profit, depending, if you have gross profit, you will add it with this income. But if you have gross loss, you will add it to these expenses. And how do you get gross profit and gross loss? Gross profit is gotten when the difference between these two is greater than that difference, those calculations you made up to here. That is gross profit. But gross loss is when the difference between these two is less than what you got here. So then, after doing it, maybe you got gross profit, you added it to this income, let's say for expenses, you will have net loss, I mean net profit. Or you have gross loss, you added it to your expenses, and it was greater than your income. That is what? Still net loss. So depending on the situation, though, we'll look at figures now. Okay. Now, this is an illustration on a trading profit and loss account. Let's start. The following balances were extracted from the books of Aditor Enterprises for the year ended 31st December 1996. Now, these are the lists stock at first. Now, if we look at it, they told you the year ended 31st December 1996. That means if the year, accounting year, is ending this, day, when did this start? That is the next, that is the question. Let's look at, let's say this is January, uh, November 95, December 95, January 96, February 96, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October. So if we backdate the whole thing, if a accounting year is ending this 31st this, uh, October 1996, backdating it six, 12 months later, what will it be? That means this is one month. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You can see that means it started in previous year, 1995. 11, 12. You, can, you now understand these are 95, but all this one from here to here is December. That means 96. That means in 96, 10 months plus 11 and 12. That means the year. Accounting year started first. That's why you see stock at first November 1995. That is the accounting year, the beginning of this accounting year. So this stock is known as opening stock for this accounting year. So that is how you what count the number of days. Accounting year is only usually 12 months, which is one year. So we'll now come. Before opening it, you must write the name of the business. Very important. So it's like telling the person reading it, the users of accounting information. When we started initially, we talked about users of accounting information. They need to know whose business, what, whose business performance in form of what, trading profit and loss. Then you now come trading profit or loss account for the year ended year ended 31st October 1996 we'll put the necessary we'll now come opening stock just as I told you opening stock how much? 8,750. Now, 
This gun received, this will come under profit and loss account. Carriage inwards. Aha, uh -huh. this is a good this thing. Carriage inwards. Where is our purchases? It's usually associated with purchases. If you don't make purchases, you can't make carriage inwards. So anytime you see carriage inwards, look out for what? Purchases. Because purchases must be there before carriage inwards must be made. So purchases. Purchases how much? Sixty thousand and carriage inwards. How much is the carriage inwards? Three thousand seven fifty. So this plus this sixty three seven fifty. Now the next thing you should be looking out for is return outwards. Return outwards, very good. It's here. Let's return outwards. And how much is our return outwards? One thousand two fifty. So this should be give you zero zero seven minus two five or you can put it like this three minus one two then the six sixty two thousand five hundred now add it up to with this sixty two five hundred plus eight thousand seven fifty that is zero five 5 plus 7, 2, 12, plus this, this is 11, plus this, 7. So 71,250. 71,250. Now, the next thing, do we have wages? Yeah. No, I can't see wages. So no wages, we'll skip. The next thing is closing stock. Now this is cost of goods available for sale. Then let's close in stock. Let's close in stock was what? 9,300. We are going to less it. This is zero. This is five. Borrow one from here. Put it here. This is 9, borrow one from here, put it here, 10 minus 9, 1, 6. So 61,000, this is cost of sales, or cost of goods sold, is the same thing. So you stop it. You will now need to get the other side, the credit side, because these are all direct expenses. So you need to get direct income. Sales, how much is the sales figure, where is the sales? Yep, the sales is 100,000. The next thing you should be looking out for is return inwards. Very good, return inwards is there. Let's return inwards. Why are you lessing it? We want to find the actual sales made that is now returned. Here, we want to find the actual purchases made. This one we are adding it because it's part of these expenses. If these expenses was not made, this one will never be made. So let's return inwards. Where is our return inwards? 980. So looking at it, borrow one from here. 9, 10, borrow it 9, put it 10, take it out 9, put it 10, take it out 9, put it 10, 10. Yeah, this is 0, 2, 0, 99,020 naira. 99,029. Now, looking at the what? Income, direct income, direct expenses. Which one is bigger? Direct income. And when direct income is bigger than direct expenses, that is gross profit. So we'll come, gross profit. How much is the gross profit? 9920 minus 61. 950. This is zero. Take it, this one out here. Put it here. Take it out. Put it here. 12 minus 5, 7. 9 minus 9, 0. 8 minus 1, 7. 6 minus 9 minus 6, 3. So 37,079. So this is zero. 12 plus 1. 9 plus 1, 10. Put it one, 
this is 299. So this is our this our we close the accounts. So closing it, that means our gross profit is how much? 37,070 Naira. So we are true with the trading side starts from here and stops here at this gross profit. So we are true with that. We are now entering the profit and loss account session. We are entering the profit and loss account section. Now, the gross profit we have on this debit side, it will be brought here on the credit side. 37, 17 there. Now, we will need to look at all the indirect expenses. All those expenses that is not directly related to the business. Purchases is directly related to the business because stock, purchase of stock is related to what the business. But all these ones, which we shall go to, which we will look at very soon, are not directly related to the business. Hence, they are put in the profit and the loss account session. Taking note, okay? Let's continue. The first one is now direct in, indirect income discount receipt. We'll put it on the credit side here. Discount receipt. How much is the discount receipt? 500 naira. Carriage invoice is gone. Discount allowed. That is an expense. We'll put it here. Discount allowed. 1000 naira. Then, return out. No, return out to a trading session. Rent. Rent. 750. Rates. 450 electricity 950 general expenses 300 returning with down trading sundry expenses 330 postage postages 250 rental income that is an indirect income rental income 2350 and carriage outwards carriage outwards when you make sales you carry the goods out that one is an indirect carriage outwards how much 400 naira so these are all the list of the words, indirect income and indirect expenses. So we'll collate everything. So let's start from here. 400 plus this, 700 plus this, which is 580 plus this, which is 1,400. Then plus this, which is 1750. So collect everything 0, 13, carry 1, 8, 8 plus this, 12, 19, 24, 4, carry 2, then this is 3, 4. So 4430, that is the total here. 4430 then on the credit side here 37070 plus 500 plus 2350 this 0 plus this 12 plus this 6 plus this 9 9 3 this is 39920 so the difference, looking at it, the expense side is lower. That is an expense side. The total here is lower than the income side. That is profit. So minus 4,430, zero. Take one here, put it here, nine, four, five, three. 
So our net profit, we put it on the what smaller side, which is the expense side. Our net profit for the year is thirty-five thousand four hundred and ninety naira. Thirty-five thousand four hundred and ninety naira. So total will give you thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and twenty. Thirty-nine thousand nine hundred and twenty. So we close the account. So that's it. Looking at it, that means the business is making a profit, which is good. It now depends on the target profit. Because just making profit may not necessarily be your performing. If you are not meeting the set profit, or at times they may set the set expenses. They may have expense level they want to meet, that they don't want to surpass it. So surpassing it means you are not performing as planned. So that's it for the trading profit and loss account